High Level is an amazing tool, but the one thing it's missing is an effective task management system. Well, managing projects inside High Level just got a serious upgrade. If you've ever struggled with tracking tasks, collaborating across teams, or keeping clients in the loop, you're gonna love this. In this video, we're diving into the Project Manager Task System inside GHL Plugins, your ultimate tool for task management, time tracking, reporting, analytics, and seamless collaboration, all within high level. But that's not all. We're also walking you through how to set up an agency support ticket system so you can effectively streamline client requests, track issues, and enhance your agency support process. By the end of the video, you'll have everything you need to take project management and client support inside high level to the next level. Let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log into GHL plugins. You would have already gotten an account. After the dashboard is loaded, you'll need to install the script to get it to work inside your GHL. You go over here to your user, you go to settings. On the left hand side, you go to agency script and you're going to copy this script. You'll enter your white label GHL, go to settings, and then go to company. Choose white label, and then in the top part, you're going to add your script. If you need a more detailed video on how to do this, there'll be a link for that in the description. After you've pasted the script, you need to link your account. Simply go to linked accounts here at the top and click link agency. Now I've already done that, so I don't need to go further. But if you do need to, you'll click to link your agency right there. Now we're ready to install the task system. We click on task system and a link will appear and we click here. You'll come to the task system configuration page. You'll enable the service. You may or may not have a link here already, but you'll just need to enable a service and one will be created for you. And then you need to choose that you want to have agency admins and account admins be able to work on this system. And then you'll add yourself as an admin and any other admins that you'd like to add right here. Next, you'll scroll down Choose how you would like your default view, either card, list, calendar, or requests. If not, admins can see only their tasks, task synchronization, and then the different type of notifications that can be received by email. Then you'll enable user notification and admin notification. Then simply click submit. After that, you're gonna scroll up and you're gonna grab this custom menu link by copying right here. Go into your agency account, on the left hand side of the menu is custom menu links. Click on that. Choose create new. And then from here we need to add a menu link for the task project management system. So we just click the drop down right here. I'm going to type in task. I'll choose this one with the check marks. And I'll just call this agency support system. And then I'm going to paste that link right there. I'll choose open link within current window as an embedded page, make sure that agency sidebar and sub account sidebars are chosen and then choose which account this will go into. It's just going to go into the agency account. So I'm going to click the drop down and I'll choose my agency account. And then for the roles, I'll choose all because it's everyone in my organization, not only myself, but anyone who works with me and then click save. Now that I've done that, I want to go into my agency account. I'll just go to the top left hand corner and choose my agency account. Once I'm on my dashboard, if I go to my left-hand navigation and scroll all the way down, I have agency support system. I'll click right there. Now I can add my project. My project is gonna be the board where I'm going to have all my support tickets for all of my clients. So I'll click on add project. Now that this is loaded, I need to name this project. I'll name it agency support. And I need to add a description, so I'll just put agency support again. Now I can get more detailed afterwards on this, but I don't need to. And I'll click next. And then I'll choose who can be on this project. I'm already automatically adding myself, but I can add other people in my organization. I'm gonna leave this blank for now. And I'll click next. And then I can decide whether I want to import tasks from the system immediately or add a tag for the project. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna click finish. Now that I've done that, I have an agency support project right over here. And this is what I'm going to use to track all of my tasks for all of my clients who are inside of my white label GHL. So I'll click on agency support. And the first thing I need to do is create columns for this board. 
I'll click add column. I'll add to do. I'll add another column in progress. Another one for review. And then a final column of complete. And you know what? I'm going to change the column color to green. That way I know it's done. And click save. Now my columns have been created. The next step is I want to go over to settings in the top right hand corner. It's time to give a link to all of my clients so they can make their requests. So I'll go to settings. On this page, I want to choose where to put my completed tasks. So from this drop down, I'll choose complete. I'll click save. And then under general settings, I want to turn both of these on. We want task sync enabled and client notifications enabled. Next, you need to go to the request tab. And we're going to start adding categories for our requests. So I'm going to click add category. The first category that I'm going to add is website and funnels. Then I want to add some subcategories. Landing page creation, content slash image request. and then a funnel request. And then I want to have a default assignee. Now this is really, really important. Right now, I'm just going to use myself. But when I'm doing other categories, if I had like a graphic designer on staff, I would make a graphic design category just for them and they would be the ones who are assigned to those tasks. But right now, we're just going to do the website and funnels and I'll click add. Next, I'm going to add a troubleshoot. I'll click add category, troubleshoot, add a subcategory, First one will be website down, very important. Broken link, and then finally bug fix. Again, I'll choose myself as the assignee. I could have done it for someone else in my organization. I can have a default due date if I choose, but right now I'm just gonna click add. And I have two different categories that have all these subcategories underneath them. Following that, I need to hit the blue next button. Now this is where the real magic happens. On the top right hand corner, I'm gonna choose my first category, website and funnels. From there, I'm gonna select a subcategory. I'll choose landing page creation. Now that I'm on this screen, I can make a specific form for landing page creation. I'll grab a text field, I'll drop it right in there, I'll click on it, and I'll change the name to funnel name. And I'm gonna hit set as required, and I'll click outside of it. After that, I'm gonna drag file upload and I'm gonna drop it right on top here. Now this is for a lead magnet. Oftentimes when I'm doing a landing page, it's a lead magnet. So I'm gonna put in where I want them to upload the lead magnet that I'll be using inside of that funnel. So I'll just change this to lead magnet upload. And just in case I'm not gonna make that required because this landing page might not have a lead magnet that is attached to this funnel. Now that I'm done with that, I'll hit finish. The next thing I want to do is do it for one of the troubleshooting forms. So I'll scroll all the way down and go to Request Form Builder. I'll choose Troubleshoot. And from there, I'll choose Website Down. Now that I'm in this area, I'm going to add a text box right here. And of course, I need to know which website it's for. So I'll go over to the label, Website, and type in Domain Name. And definitely set this as required and click save form. And I can keep doing that for whatever category I choose. If I want to do broken link, I can redo that form there. If I want to scroll up and do bug fix, I can do that one there or change which category I'm working on. Very simple, very easy to do, making all my forms completely different depending on the request that's going to be made. Now that I've done that, I'm going to add the custom menu link to all the other sub accounts that are within my white label GHL. All I need to do is copy this menu link right over here and then go into my agency view and add it as a link. So from the drop down, I'll go to agency view, I'll go to settings, go to custom menu link, click on create new, I'll choose an icon, I'm gonna go with a ticket for this one and I'll name it support request, paste in the URL, Continue to use when clicked, leave on agency sidebar and sub accounts. But now here in select accounts, I'm gonna choose all. That way it's throughout my whole system. Now, 
If you don't want to have this for certain clients, you can change this. You can also make it so that there are different kind of support request forms depending on the client just by choosing which accounts it goes to. But in this case, since it's generalized, I'm going to do all. If I want to, I can exclude certain accounts and then choose a role-based visibility. Again, I'll choose all. And I'll hit save. And that has been added. Now I'll go into a sub account so you can see how I make a request. On the left hand side, I'm going to choose a sub account. I'll choose Four Color Express. And you can see right here, I now only have support request. I don't have the agency one, just support request. I click on support request and a blank board appears. In the top right hand corner, I click on add request and I'm gonna make a request for a task. I'll choose the category. I'll go with website and funnels. I'll choose new lead magnet as my task. I'll choose my category of landing page creation. I'll upload. I'll choose a PDF example that I'm using as a lead magnet. It'll upload. I'll give it a funnel name. I'll call it how to win friends and click submit. And this will upload the PDF and the request to the main support ticket area. All right, you can see that's in to-do. Now in to-do, it can't be moved anywhere. I wanna check my email to see if I successfully made the request. So I'll hit the plus sign, I'll go into my Gmail account, and right over here, you can see my request. You have successfully created a new lead magnet in project agency support. Now I'll go into my agency, Scroll down and go to Agency Support System. And then I'll click Agency Support. I can see the request. I click on the request. And right here I can see the funnel name and I can see the PDF. Now I can choose to download the PDF by just clicking right over here and download it right here in the top right hand corner. But for now I'm just gonna click the X and close this. Now, let's say it's a day later and I'll start working on this. I'll drag this over to in progress. Now on the client side, they have received an email telling them that the task has moved over to in progress. And inside their personal dashboard, the task has moved over to in progress also. Now I'll go back to the agency. I'm just gonna move this over to complete right over here. If you go to the client's inbox, they received another email that the task has moved over to complete. And inside their dashboard, it's all the way over here in complete. And that's how you can create a project manager task system inside of the GHL plugins task system inside of your white label GHL. If this seems like something that you can use for your business, just click the link below and go to GHL Plugins website to see all the features they have in store for you. They have everything from project management, onboarding tools, custom value forms, and a plethora of other plugins that you can use to help manage your business. I'll see you in the next video.